Have you done any research in the area of Africa's uh, contribution to religion? Yes. Yes. Um, the ancient Egyptians contributed mightily. Um, they had the oldest religious texts in the world. You had texts such as the, the pyramid texts, which then evolved into the coffin texts, which then evolved into the Book of the Dead. That's um, the Book of the Coming Forth by Day and by Night? That's right. That's, that's, yeah, that's okay, right. okay. Yeah. E. e. Uh, Wallace Budge. He is a translator. He's not the translator. What it is, is Budge's books were so good that they've been reprinted, reprinted, reprinted. Yeah. But there's a modern scholar that has updated some of the argument uh, called Professor John Taylor. And he wrote a book called Journey into the Afterlife. And that's the one that I use as teaching material, uh, where he's updated the budge findings and so forth. And it's not hard to see where Judaism uh has been influenced. It's not hard to see where Christianity has been influenced. It's not hard to see where Islam has been influenced. It's not hard to see where some of the other religions, um, even Hinduism. So the Book of the Dead, or Coming Forth by Day, Peret M. Heru, are very, very important text. Then we've got the, the, the notion of the gods, the ancient Egyptian gods didn't come from Egypt. They came from the south. They came from Nubia, right? And then some of the stories that have been said about them, you know, involving virgin births and all this kind of stuff. And so a lot of scholars have realized, wait a minute, we can trace some of the later religions back to what the ancient Egyptians believed. Then we have um, the New Testament of the Bible, which makes the claim in the book of Acts that Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. And Moses, for those of you who are Christians or Jews will know, is said to have written the first five books of the Bible, including the book of Leviticus, the book of law. So um, the person that set up Judaism as we have it today was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. And speaking of the Egyptians, I guess it goes back to the belief in monotheism uh, and Akhenaten was the first to propose monotheism or a belief in one God. And not just that, um, Akhenaten wrote a book called The Great Hymn to the Sun. Now, it may not have, it's, it's certainly his name is on it, but we're not sure whether he put pen to paper or whether he dictated it to a scribe. And scholars that have looked at the great hymn to the sun, and they looked at Psalms 106, uh, attributed to King David in the Bible, some of it is word for word. Mm. Mm. Again, people want to test this, Google it. And there are web pages discussing whether or not it is word for word, or whatever, but yes, um, good people should Google this and so they can find out for themselves.